بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Welcome to episode four of the series Leadership Lessons from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. In this episode, we'll take a story that was narrated in an authentic hadith when the Prophet Sallam was straightening out the rows of his companions uh, on the day of Badr. Before the Battle of Badr, the Prophet Sallam was straightening the rows of his companions on the day of Badr and he had in his hand a small stick, a little stick that he was straightening out the rows with. And so he was, as he, you know, passing through the rows, straightening them out. And he passed by Sawad. As he was passing through the rows, passed through the people, he passed by Sawad, one of the companions. May Allah please with them all. Sawad. And Sawad was a bit, a bit out of the line. So he was standing a bit in front of the line. So the Prophet nudged him a bit. Or poked him a bit with a stick that he had in his hand, just a little touch. He touched him a bit with a stick on his stomach and said, Istawi Yasawad. You know, straighten up, straighten the line, O Sawad. So Sawad said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, you've hurt me. When the Prophet touched him with a stick on his stomach, said, Straighten up, O Sawad. Sawad said, Ya Rasulullah, you hurt me, and Allah has sent you with the truth and with justice. Allah sent you to establish the truth, to establish justice. Faqdini, give me justice, and, or give me my right. So the Prophet ﷺ uncovered his stomach, and he said, Istaqdi, go ahead, take your right back. Go ahead, do the same back to me, in other words, and, and take your right back. Get justice by doing the same thing to me. And so Tzawad hugged the Prophet ﷺ, and he kissed him. And the Prophet ﷺ said, O oh, Sawad, what made you do this? And so Sawad said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, you see what has come. We're lining up, getting ready for battle. The, the enemy is about to fight us. They're trying to kill us. You know, I mean, we might die. We might get injured. You see what has come. You see what has come. And I wanted that the last thing for, for me, you know, uh, with you to be that I, I touch you. And so the Prophet ﷺ made dua for him with good. And he told him, Istawi Ya Sawad, go ahead, straighten up, oh Sawad, straighten the line. Um, SubhanAllah, this is a beautiful story, beautiful story, so many lessons, but I want us to look at it from a leadership lens and extract those leadership lessons from this story. The lessons that I take from this story uh, are, are several. The leadership lessons are several. The ones that I'll highlight are the following. The first thing is that the Prophet ﷺ established justice even if it was against his own self. So we see part of being a good leader is establishing justice, establishing justice, giving everyone their rights, establishing justice, even if it's against your own self, even if it's against yourself. And you're the leader. You establish justice even if it's against your own self. That gives you credibility with your followers, but also it establishes justice amongst your followers. And a, a true leader establishes justice even if it's against their own family members, their loved ones, people that they like, and even if people that they don't like, they still give them justice. So establishing justice is a key principle for a leader. And we see the Prophet ﷺ establish justice even against his own self. We also see that the Prophet ﷺ didn't discredit other people's feelings. And he took them at their own word. He didn't say, you know, I hurt you, how did I hurt you? It's a small stick, what do you mean I hurt you? You're a, you're a grown man, you're about to go into battle, I mean, you're about to fight people who are trying to kill you, you might get severely injured or, or killed, and this small stick, this small nudge on your stomach with a small stick hurt you? You know, I mean, he didn't say any of that, but rather he didn't discredit his feelings. So what said, you hurt me? He took him at his word. He didn't deny that, he didn't discredit his feelings. And, you know, he just took it at his own words, and he established us, he hey, said, I, you know, Go ahead. You're saying, I hurt you. Go ahead. Take your right back. He uncovered you know, his stomach and said, go ahead. Do the back. You know, In other words, do it to me. Go ahead. Take your right back. So he established justice even against his own self. He didn't discredit other people's feelings or emotions. And, you know, um, he, took it at, he took them at their word. You know, facts are facts, but emotions are subjective. He took people at their own words and he didn't try to 
you know, uh, argue with him about it. I mean, subhanAllah, let's, let's you know, uh, look at that. I mean, if something like this happens today, people would very easily, you know, might um, be upset, might be frustrated. What do you mean I hurt you? I didn't, you know, I didn't even mean to hurt you. Why are you taking it? You know, um, you're such a, you're a grown man about to go into battle and fight. You know, small stick hurt you, this and that. No, he didn't say any of that. But rather, he took him at his own word. He didn't discredit or dismiss his feelings. And another lesson of leadership that we learn from this story is that sometimes in the process of doing your work, there might be unintended consequences. Things might come about that you're going about doing something and things that might come, come up that aren't related to that. They're unintended consequences. Things that, you know, you didn't mean to do. And so we learn to just fix them and keep going. Focus on what you were trying to do. Again, the Prophet ﷺ was straightening out the rows in the battle. So as this happened, he said, go ahead, you know, take, take your right back. And continued with straightening out the rows. After the Sawad hugged him and kissed him, he didn't do anything back. He just hugged him and kissed him. You know, he asked him, why did you do that? He explained. And then he said, he made dua for him for goodness. So again, we learn how much a leader cares about his followers and about um, wanting good for them, being sincere and wanting good for them. But then he went back to the original point, what he was taking care of, which is straightening the rows. Then he went back and said, Istawiya Sawat, straightening the, straighten up the, the row of Sawat. Going back to the original task that he that was at hand, that he was doing, straightening the rows. So he went back to that at the end as well. Show us the importance of not getting distracted, not getting off task. He could have easily got, gotten off task, gotten distracted with this whole thing, and missed out or gotten distracted or forgotten about what he was originally doing. So it's important as a leader is to, when in the process of doing your work, if things come up, you address them, but you, and you, or you fix them, you take care of them, but you keep going, you keep doing what you initially were actually, you had set out to do. Barakallahu feekum, jazakum wa khaira, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.